Okay, folks, this is the area behind City Hall in East Lake, Ohio, where our male eagle, Jackson, and our female eagle, Kindness, have relocated their nest that was at Bruce Yee Park. It's a pretty nice area for them to be. There's a pond down below. There is fish in this pond. I captured yesterday a great white egret and a blue heron. The great white egret did fish out of this pond and caught a fish. So there is some small fish in this pond. At the moment, the female kindness is here at the nest, and the baby is in the nest. I will zoom in to let you see. Right here, we have our female, Kindness. Kindness has been in this area for at least the past six years. She and her first male mate, Justice, built the nest at Bruce Yee Park. From 2016 until 2021, Kindness here has only raised three eaglets. This eaglet that's in the nest right now is only the third eaglet that we are aware of since Kindness been here in this area in 2016. This eaglet is the only one that Kindness has raised other than the other two that she raised in 2018 at Bruce Yee Park. And she raised those two eaglets with her male mate back then, Justice. Jackson, who is her new mate, took off approximately 15 minutes ago. And he's probably out at the lake or on the river hunting for fish to feed this eagle. For right now, it's considered O.H. One, there's a naming campaign that's going on as we speak to give this eaglet a formal name. I personally believe it's going to be Journey, but we shall see. There's Buckeye in the running also for this eaglet. So it could be Buckeye or it could be Journey. Either way, two great names for this eaglet. And there's our, here's our girl, Kindness, watching over things. They survey what's below them for quite a while now. They've been coming back here. So they know this pond. They know what's in this pond. And they know if they will be able to get food from out of this pond. There's ducks in this pond. There's turtles in this pond. Uh, of course, Canadian geese land in this pond quite often. And bald eagle have been known to feed on 
the Canadian geese if they're hungry enough. But for the most part, they go out to the lake in the river, Chagrin River and Lake Erie to get their fish. Let's see what's the baby doing up here. The baby was up and moving around earlier. He's grown exponentially since April 3rd when it hatched. His beak is getting pretty large. His wingspan is awesome right now at this age. Sometime he'll get up and flap him. Right now he's just resting in the nest. And mama is keeping watch. So this nest, like I was saying earlier, is behind City Hall in East Lake, Ohio. I've been documenting kindness and justice in Mount Jackson for five years now. This is the fifth year since 2016 that I have been photographing kindness. She lost her male mate justice on March 23rd, 2020. The male that she's with currently, Jackson, had been in several fights with Justice. And the last time we saw Justice was on March 23rd, 2020, in a tree that is named Bill's Tree. Jackson flew in and chased Justice off. And that was the last time we saw Justice. Jackson has been a pretty good mate for kindness. He's been doing an excellent job. Uh, we have him as being the first of laying the very first branch in this tree. We have been documenting the growth of this nest since its first beginning. When the very first branches were put into this tree, we have been documenting it ever since to the size that it is right now. So that's awesome to be able to document the building of a bald eagle's nest from the very first branch to the size of it right now. It's a good nest. It's in a pretty decent tree. The tree does lean forward slightly toward the pond, but it seems to be strong enough that it will hold this nest for many years to come, hopefully. And hopefully, Jackson and Kindness will continue to come back to this nest year after year and produce some little eaglets like this. It won't be long before this eaglet starts to branch and branching is just a process where as the eagle grows and starts to flap its wing, it'll begin to hop around and try landing on the surrounding branches. And as time goes by, it'll get up the nerve to actually take off. And I'm pretty sure from witnessing this many times in 2018, that it will learn to fly around the area here. It will struggle at the beginning with landings and takeoffs. 
but it'll get it together. And it may even catch its first food of its own down here in this pond. Also, the parents may take this eaglet out to Chagrin River to teach it how to fish for itself. Lake Erie would be a much more challenging location for a juvenile, actually. Once this eaglet fledges this nest, it's no longer an eaglet anymore. It'll be considered a juvenile. And juveniles, yeah, their chances of survival are not that great because of the troubles that they can get into when they're out there flying around and they're young. Okay, looks like kindness has taken off. Uh, let's see where she's going. Because both adults will be out of the nesting area now. And so, now that OH1 is the size that he is, the parents feel a little bit more comfortable about leaving him or her in the nest by itself. But they won't stay away too long. One or the other will come back in the area to keep watch of their little baby. This was the only eaglet that hatched this year. This eaglet has been in the nest without any siblings. And so it has grown so fast because it's getting all the food. It has no competition with any other siblings for food. So it's being fed very well. And it is so huge right now. But right now, we don't have either parent in the area. And this sometimes happens. But they don't stay away too long. And in some cases, they will hide in a tree and still keep watch. But I think both of them are out of the area right now. It looks like kindness flew over on the other side of the railroad tracks there and uh, over the top of the canopy of trees there. So she looked like she may be out of the area for right now. Don't know where she's headed. And I don't know if Jackson will be back in her place or if he's not hiding somewhere among the trees here because Jackson is a very good uh, uh, hider. He loves to uh, get in behind the, the greenery now that we have some greenery here. And uh, he'll spring out on you. He'll spring out on a hawk. He'll spring out on the blue herons. I've seen him um, go after a couple of blue herons yesterday. But he does like to hide and uh, stay incognito. So, right now, I'm going to put the camera down and take a look around with my binoculars to see if either one of the parents 